Well guys, there's just no other way to put it. It was just a really slow weekend of eBay sales. I can pull the numbers up to give you a look. I had a total of $850 in revenue and take out fees, post, cost of goods, works out to about $500 worth of profit. Now, out of that, I had about $250 come through on Instagram through viewers of the channel. So if you take that out of it, eBay actually only produced about $600. I normally typically do about $1,200 over a weekend. So well down, it's been a weird old week. Let me know in the comments below if it was for you too. I'm gonna to show you the items that did sell on eBay though, because there are a few good ones in there. And then we're gonna go and do a bit of a thrift as well. So a bit of a day in the life vlog today of what I get up to as a full-time online reseller. So let's go dive in the first category. We'll have a look at the DVDs. All right, guys, so having a look at the media for this weekend, as you can see, there's not a whole lot here compared to normal weeks. It has been just slow across the board. Uh, Chicago Fire seasons one, two, and three, that one was probably my best of the bunch. You might have seen me pick that one up in a trip to the thrift just on Thursday. I got $28 for that one, so that was a pretty quick turnaround for a good sale price. These two I've got in the middle here because they were both done with international sales. Can't Buy Me Love sold for $10 bucks plus $20 worth of international postage. And then we've got Legally Blonde 1 and 2 as a bit of a bundle. That one sold for 14 plus 20 bucks uh, off to New Zealand. So I might save a bit of money there with the shipping to New Zealand, but um, still just some sort of basic winners there. And then we've got these four here as well. Two video games, Gran Turismo 5 and Tony Hawk on Game Boy Advance. I think that one went for $18, Tony Hawk. So that one wasn't too bad. These ones here, just some cheap ones, 10 to $15. So nothing much to report there, guys, but what, four, seven sales in media? It's still okay. As for the shoe category though, guys, I'm really happy with what we've been able to come away with. We've got six sales for $300 over the weekend. It works out to about 50 bucks for an individual sale. So a couple of winners here. We've got Lenoi here, um, just casual, really cool colorway here, casual running shoes. Um, they're in pretty good condition. It was a bit of a bulk deal. We had two sales come through. They also bought these uh, Reebok shoes as well. Not too bad a condition there. Both of them were $40 sales each. So we got 80 bucks done there. It cost me about 15 bucks to put them into a large satchel, uh, send it off to them. Uh, this one as well. We had a good one in the Vans shoes. These were brand new zebra prints in box, women's US size eight. Um, they ended up selling for $45. I don't typically get too much more than that when I'm selling my Vans, whether they're pre-owned or brand new. It's sort of around that $40 to $50 mark. Uh, and then we had three that were a little bit more high end. We had these that I picked up on Thursday in a trip to the thrift, a really cool colorway. These were the machinists that I picked up uh, in the thrift on Thursday's trip to the thrift episode. We got a $55 sale price and they were pretty much in light new condition. So I think the buyers got away with a pretty good deal there. Uh, we got these as well. We got the uh, the ASICS footy boots. I'm always picking these up. I actually bought a pair of these exact same shoes uh, in a trip to the thrift as well, just on Thursday. So nice to see these ones out the door. Uh, we got a $60 sale price on those ones there. Footy season obviously just around the corner. So do look out for your footy boots. And then we've got the Keen hiking boots. Now I'm always selling the brand Keen. These are in, in excellent condition. $65 sale price on these women's hiking shoes. So they're always consistent movers pretty much year round. Six sales, 305 bucks in revenue. That's why I'm selling my shoes. All right, guys, so we're gonna go and have a look at some clothing now. Um, but before we do, I just actually wanted to touch on what looks like a big mess right here. And this is actually my dead stock or pretty much bad buys over the last 12 months of selling on eBay. So Unfortunately, none of this stuff I'm, I'm looking to move anymore. I actually just want to get rid of it for what I paid for it. And I mentioned to you guys a few weeks ago that I was going to be doing a five-part video series going out to basically hosting a, a flea market stall or hosting my own garage sale to try and move off some of this stuff for pretty much what I paid for it. That's still going ahead. The update that I wanted to provide you with is just I've, we've had terrible luck here on the Gold Coast with weather. See what I mean about this Gold Coast weather? There's just been so much rain over the weekends over the last few weeks. You might have seen it in my recent flea market videos. A lot of rain around. So rather than setting up on a bad day, I'm just trying to hold off for some good weather conditions so I can move this stuff and move it quick. So just thought I'd update you on that, guys. That trash to cash video series that I've got planned, it is still going ahead just when the sun comes out. Now, I'm going to put these next two into the MISC category because it's not categories that I typically sell. And I just spoke about the books and the fact that I'm trying to get rid of them. So the fact that I've been able to move these right here, Captain Underpants, a set of six. Um, I've only sold them for $17, but I've got a sale running on all of my books currently. So pretty much just selling them off for dirt cheap. 
Um, that one should fit into a oh, probably a medium satchel, to be honest. I'm pretty much not going to make any money out of it. Might even lose money on it, but that's how much I'm just trying to get rid of my books. And then the other one as well, which is a really cool sale. I found this in an op shop only a few weeks ago. We've got the Thunderbird 2 here, guys. Have a look at that thing. Um, this is complete. I've done every single test on what it needs to be, and it has everything. So a real complete set there. The comps on eBay were about 60 bucks. I've got an international sale on this one, $55 sale price. Plus, I've got $30 worth of international postage off to Singapore. And it probably is going to cost about 20 to 25 to send it there. So it might be a $60, $65 sale price. Um, look, it's not something I normally buy, but I just saw the opportunity in the thrift. It was only a couple of dollars. Comps on eBay looked good. So I bought it. Had a total of four sales come through in the clothing category, guys. I just wanted to focus on these three right here. First one here, a viewer of the channel by the name of Scotty. Has gone ahead and picked this one up. It was Thursday's trip to the thrift that I bought it for eight dollars, and uh, he's paid thirty. So I made myself about fourteen bucks worth of profit. A big thank you to Scotty for that buy. This one here as well, Sydney Swans two thousand twelve Premiership tee. Thursday's trip to the thrift sold for twenty bucks to a viewer of the channel by the name of Secondhand Gang Vic. Um, don't know their exact name, but thank you very much for the support, guys. I made about eight dollars worth of profit there. Always happy to facilitate sales to viewers of the channel. This one, though, is the real winner of the What Sold episode today, guys. This one is a Brisbane Lions prototype jersey. I won't say too much more than that. Basically, just look out for your GPS pouches. I realized what this was after I grabbed it out of Danny's store, Gold Coast Picker, uh, at the flea market. And uh, I shot a message to Judd, diary of a flipper. And I really wanted to shout him out today because he gave me the exact description of what this thing is. And he also put me in touch with a buyer by the name of Andy. Andy, yesterday, within a few hours of me taking it out of Danny's store, he has bought this for $200, guys, 200 bucks. So uh, a huge thank you to Judda, a huge thank you to Andy, a huge thank you to Danny for getting that one done, guys. It should be about 100 bucks each for both Danny and I. So really cool finds there, four really quick winners, and a T-shirt as well from Ben Davis that sold for $18. Alright guys, we're going to go and jump into the thrift now. The post is out of the way. I did have a really quiet flea market run yesterday. If you caught that video, there wasn't a whole lot purchased. So I do need to get in there and buy some stuff today because I am very anti-death pile. I generally like to buy the item, list the item, and then sell the item because that's the aim of the game, isn't it? So we're about to jump in there. But before we do, I wanted to talk about this thing right here, which is a business transaction card. So it's basically just a Visa debit card. I've got this one done through the Commonwealth Bank of Australia. That's my bank, but all the major banks around the world will have access to this sort of thing. And basically all it is is by my expenses and my income will come on this card. I've got everything set up on this card and it's all funneled into the one account. It might seem like a pretty basic step, but if you're just starting out in the reselling game, you're just starting out with a business because if you're selling stuff online, you do have a small business, you do need to have one of these because come tax time, it just makes the game so much more simple. You're not sifting through personal stuff, you're only sifting through the business expenses and income. So if you haven't got that, guys, do go and get it. Ask your major banks if they can provide you one because they can and get yourself sorted with that straight away. Let's go jump in the thrift. Well, guys, welcome to my home away from home. I've got the Nike Luna TR1s here. Pretty good condition on top, but pretty poor on the bottom. So I had to pass on those. Same story here for these ones as well. 20 bucks, I can't be doing that with soles like that. So unfortunately, no on the Nikes. However, I did go ahead and pick these up. We've got some New Balance 247s. They should turn into about 50 bucks. Pretty good pair of shoes there. Always like to pick them up. How about this though? We've got the Space Jam, a new legacy singlet as well. Eight into 30. That was it for Op Shop Run number one. Jeez, guys, you wouldn't believe it. Have a look at this thing here. We've got the Umbro England National Soccer Team windbreaker jacket here. It's a size medium. This thing is completely genuine. $15 coming into the winter time over here in Australia. I don't mind going ahead and paying for this one at $15. Bucks. That was a cool grab. Also got Chicago Fire here. The Blu-ray, brand new sealed. I can get about $30 bucks for this, so eBay says. So for $3.50, that's a no-brainer. This one is more for you than it is for me. If you can find this in a complete set, it goes really well. But for me, not on this occasion. 
moment. 30 for 30. Who's watched this on ESPN? This is a really good sports documentary TV show. I've got the collector's gift set here. So surely there's going to be some money made on that one at $4. And then this one here, just through my experience of selling DVDs, I did remember that this one here, Throw Mama from the Train, actually sells for about 18 bucks on eBay. So I've grabbed that. So that was all I got. I just got the six items. I went to five different stores to only come away with those six items. And none of them were like, none of them were bangers, but it is just the way that it is. A slow flea market run, a slow op shop run. It won't be a slow run on Thursday though for a trip to the thrift. I can guarantee you that. I always just seem to come through with the goods on Thursday. Having said that, I might actually leave you with the video right here, which is one of my best ever trips to the thrift episodes. So if you love your thrifting content, go and check that one out. That is it for me today, guys. I'm gonna go and list these items up. That's my next task. And then I'll go and edit this video. Appreciate you being here. We'll see you soon.